All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of XCOM uh, Enemy Unknown. And uh, one thing I realized I didn't do last time was I actually didn't make uh, the Firestorms, which are the entire point of what I wanted. I can only make one, though. Uh, they cost a lot to make. And you know what? I'm actually going to say no to that. We're not going to make them. I didn't realize how expensive they were. They are ridiculously pricey. Um, for now, the fighters are okay. Like, I, I just did take one UFO down, so... Uh, probably early next month we'll do that when we have a couple more engineers to go with it as well. Because uh, I'm getting this stuff actually kind of rather early. So who do we want with us? Uh, we could get this assault. Sure, let's get the assault with us for a change. He's got a really crappy gun though, but you know what? My heavy does as well, so. Um, sorry SGD Dan. I know I know you really like that. You were really growing with it, like, you know, like nice carapace armor. At least uh, let me make your like armor look, look like it's better than it actually is. So, uh, here we have, um, I don't even know who he is. Whatever, let's give him, like, a, let's give him a helmet. Whoops, no, that's not, that's a helmet at all. There, you look kind of like Nonners. Just, let's just pretend you're Nonners with a shotgun. Poor Nonners. Alright. Got our arc thrower, two, two medkits, two snipers with scopes. We're ready to go. Starting to run out of skilled soldiers, not gonna lie, but at the start of the next month, I think that's when we're gonna start uh, trying to level up other people. Touching down. We'll be deploying to Russia for this one. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. I hope so too. So apparently we just set this uh, entire forest on fire. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Alright. Well, uh... Wait, okay, so we have the side of the map right here. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Sniper, move up. Let's... Let's just uh, get a forward kind of scout right over here. Even though he doesn't really need the big cover, it's okay. Uh, okay, so second sniper. Where are you at? I probably had you selected and I just did. Okay, this guy is going to dash over to this cover here. Because I can't actually go into this area. It's kind of weird. It's It, it kind of put me right on the edge of the map here. I'm kind of surprised actually. Alright. And I'm confident enough that they will not trigger, so we're going to move everyone in. And now we're going to overwatch. So, <clears throat> for this mission, we're going to play this a little bit on the safe side. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll, move, we'll move ahead with our longest movers, which are going to be our, uh, our supports. And then the heavies will dash directly behind them. Like, you can... You can see actually, like you can see the difference it makes in movement, like right here, like that extra three spaces. It's it's freaking fantastic. So everyone's gonna be just overwatching and just making sure nothing bad happens here. It unfortunately it does look like though that uh, some people are coming to the party. Now uh, let's just kind of evaluate the situation here quickly because I don't seem to do that often enough. Um, this is kind of piss poor cover. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, this entire force is kind of piss poor cover. Uh, I'm debating if I should just kind of go up the side here. I like the trees here a little better, but like, hot damn, this map sucks. Uh, I'm wondering if I could just kind of move this guy into here. If I, uh, yeah, we could we could practically see the UFO like right now. Do you see this in like the the fog of war kind of a thing? It's terrible. Uh, let me see. Okay, if needed, my heavies will move back. Um, that's what, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, this is this is my assault actually. So let's get this guy up here first. Here we go. We already have a floater, so we're okay. It looks like uh, looks like they don't, they don't want to play with us today. But uh, SGG Dan is still a very capable sniper. A Sergeant Dan, sorry. Where that guy gets ticked off at me again. 
So we're going to lead off with our snipers here, get a couple of nice shots off. Criticals to go around. I think, I think, you know, I think it's just my snipers are just going to wipe the floor here. Yep, that's it. We're done. Oh, that was easy. I didn't actually expect it to go that well. But, you know, power of squad side snipers. Gotta tell you. We open with uh, Dan going into... Sorry, uh, not Dan, but um, Triple Strike going into nice cover there and uh, finish it off with uh, a couple of guys, a uh, couple of sniper shots, you know? Can't complain. The only thing I complain about now is, though, is I don't have those RPGs like I had before. Uh, I I kind of liked having access to three RPGs. Remember that one? Like, I on the tr some of the train missions, I had three RPGs. I have, like, none. Alright, so... Snipers will reload, because, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, ammunition upgrades yet, so... And... We're not actually seeing anybody. Well, let's see, we got the UFO right here. It is still behind a little bit of cover. Uh, however, if we don't see anything up here, we're gonna move up our, our snipers. And here we see some guys. And it's a nice little cyber disc. It's, it's a bit of a stretch if my snipers will actually be able to shoot this. I will be very surprised if they can. No, it looks like they won't. Which means um, it's up to my other guys to kind of get them at this point. Which I'm actually pretty confident that they'll be able to handle this. Let's see, do we have a rocket we can fire off? It's a bit of a, it's, nah, that's not happening. Um, okay, we have one of our guys right here, and I can only put him into piss poor cover. You know what? You know what I'm actually inclined to say? Let's get him to come to us. Let's move him back here. He's not actually in range anymore. We're gonna we're gonna fight him on our terms, not his. This is our turf. We're gonna find the best cover, and everybody overwatches for when he comes over that hill. Cause he can't shoot us, so we don't have to really worry. Look at this. How fucking grave an idea was this? I feel I'm gonna be regretting that that uh, sentence in just a couple seconds. It's unfortunate that uh, apparently uh, there was an owl in that tree there that uh, this guy wanted to shoot at. Okay, please don't hurt him. Wow, that heavy cover, man. That shit's great. Okay, he gave him a bit of a heal there. However, the fantastic part should be now my now my snipers have a uh, actual sight on him. And a very good shot they have indeed. Oh crap. Uh, you know, I, it's just like Volkov is just going to solo this guy. Volkov is not fucking around today. Oh, that does it for that. And uh, we have a uh, a little small bot there, but uh, you know, SGD Dan. He's having none of that. <laughs> you know, I think it'd be actually really challenging to do like a sniperless run, to be honest. Oh god. What are we seeing? Oh, just you? Oh, whatever. I, I, was, I, thought, I, just, I thought I triggered something new, sorry. I didn't mean to freak you all out. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Okay, we're just gonna get him to move up here. So nobody is actually taking damage yet. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do now. Uh, we're gonna start moving up these snipers. Because they're, they're way in behind. They're no good to me back here anymore. Because now there's that, that, there's that hill there now. Um, so it's just, 
it's it's more worthwhile for me to actually to get them into. They, you see how valuable they are. Like, come on, nobody's gonna fault me for wanting to have my best team members up at the front. Well, not quite the front, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Because there's a nice hole there that uh, you know, SGD Dan, uh, Sergeant Dan would love to fucking go into. He has a real fascination with holes and explore exploration and shit like that. All right, let's see who else we can get. Uh, let's see. Let's do reload on you. You know, those criticals really worry me because it's kind of like the the crits I see sometimes are like that would kill my snipers. Like that last guy who died in the last mission, that would kill my sniper. So you have to forgive me if I'm basically just like, well, fuck everything. <laughs> Cyber just destroyed. We know. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to move him up here, but we'll get this guy over here first, just kind of scout it out. And it looks like he'll be okay. So, uh, Volkov will be the one that goes up here. He's up here, he gets full a co full cover bonus from that. Like, you can actually see the icon, he gets the, bon he gets the full bonus from that. Uh, he's going to move out of this cover, just so... Our good friend Dan, who I can't click on for shit, uh, can go into this half cover here. And everyone else will overwatch today. But Dan doesn't get that quite that cover bonus yet, but uh, he'll well, get him to do something eventually. Alright, um, so let's lead it off with my supports. Front, front and center, let's go. You guys don't want to go into this UFO, but you know you don't really have a choice. I am your commander. Oh, fuck. I smell a tasing opportunity. Okay, there's another there's another thing there, but this is uh this is someone who want we definitely want to tase. Now, here's the problem. We can't actually get a good shot off. Uh, let's see. How does this not count as any kind of cover? I don't know. Okay, well, let's get this guy with his pistol out. I'm hoping we won't have to use this kind of a... Uh I hope we won't, we won't have to use these overwatches, but we, he may not give us a choice. Yeah, he's running out. I'm not going to let him get a flank off. It's not happening. He didn't. He couldn't hunker down because he ran into it. Oh, that's it for that. Eh, I kind of wish I did capture him, but I, I wasn't going to. Well, whatever. Another time, perhaps. Yeah, I still haven't, like gotten a sectoid either for, for interrogation. Seems like that's going to be a very rare enemy to see these days. But you know, here's to hoping we finish the... I'm continually impressed by the work of month. our soldiers. They seem to be extremely efficient. Low profile. Now she gets that, now, uh, she gets that full cover. Alright, here we go. Zang got his last upgrade. So he can either get, uh, allows one additional standard rocket to be fired for battle or First additional damage on weapon tech level to suppression in all area of effect abilities. Uh, I would actually want two rockets because I'm I'm a two rocket kind of guy. Uh, you know, those are very powerful things to have at my disposal. It's just it's kind of like a, you know an I win situ thing to any kind of situation. So uh, if 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 the if you know problems are happening, you have control. You absolutely, you absolutely, one hundred percent have control when when you have those things. All right, uh, do we get any kind of a? Uh, let's say the gray market. We got we got some damage things, which is probably because we we are actually shooting down these UFOs completely. But now we have that. And how far away am I from getting an Illyrium generator? One seventy-five. Uh, sorry, two seventy-five. Um, Trust me, I'm gonna be fucking rich next month. We need like uh, about 40 more bucks. 
Yeah, we, we're, we're not we're not even seeing sectoids anymore. Well, here's your 40 more bucks here. So, uh, Illyrium Generator, go. Then I'm gonna destroy these power generators that I have. Because I, I don't really need them anymore after that. Kind of just there. Aliens are terrorizing Tokyo. Well, uh, who are you gonna call? XCOM. But that's gonna be for next time. I'll see you later. And until then, we'll be watching.